OpenAI has just unveiled their latest and greatest model, GPT-40, and it's a total game changer. This new model, released as part of their spring update, takes conversational AI to the next level with real-time responsiveness and a more user-friendly interface. It's like having your very own personal AI assistant right at your fingertips. But what exactly makes GPT-40 so special? Let's find out! The first thing and most exciting aspect of GPT-40 that you should know is its accessibility. Unlike previous models, GPT-40 is available to everyone, not just those with a paid subscription. This move toward greater inclusivity is a significant step forward in making AI technology more widely available. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has been teasing new features for ChatGPT and GPT-4, generating considerable buzz and speculation in the AI community. Although he dispelled rumors about the release of GPT-5 or an OpenAI search engine, the introduction of GPT-40 has AI enthusiasts thrilled. At this point, you may be eager to know more about GPT-40, so what exactly is it? GPT-40, where the O stands for Omni, was unveiled by OpenAI during a live-streamed event on May 13, 2024. This cutting-edge model boasts multimodal capabilities, processing text, visual and audio input and output, building upon the foundation of its predecessor, GPT-4, with vision. The distinguishing feature of GPT-40 lies in its ability to handle multiple modalities within a single model, which sets it apart from earlier iterations. OpenAI claims that GPT-40 outperforms its previous version, GPT-4 Turbo, in several aspects. It is reportedly twice as fast, 50% more cost-effective for both input and output, and offers a five-fold increase in rate limit. With a 128K context window and a knowledge cutoff date of October 2023, GPT-40 demonstrates significant advancements in AI technology. Currently, GPT-40's new capabilities are available through various platforms, including ChatGPT, the ChatGPT app on desktop and mobile devices, the OpenAI API and Microsoft Azure. This wide availability ensures that users across different domains can harness the power of GPT-40 to drive innovation and explore new possibilities in AI applications. So, what's new in GPT-40? GPT-40 introduces a range of groundbreaking features that extend beyond the capabilities of its predecessors. In addition to its advanced text and vision capabilities, GPT-40 now boasts native understanding and generation abilities across all supported modalities, including video. This impressive expansion of GPT-40's functionality opens the door to a wealth of innovative applications and opportunities for users to explore. One of the most notable advancements highlighted by OpenAI CEO Sam Altman is the model's improved speed, particularly when it comes to voice communication. GPT-40's near-instant response times enable users to engage in seamless, natural conversations with the AI, mirroring the experience of interacting with other humans. This breakthrough in responsiveness elevates the user experience and sets GPT-40 apart from its previous iterations. Now, when it comes to text evaluation, GPT-40 shows either slight improvements or maintains comparable scores to other large language models, such as previous GPT-4 versions, Anthropic's Claude 3 Opus, Google's Gemini, and Meta's Llama 3. These assessments come from benchmark results released by OpenAI itself. It's important to note that OpenAI's comparison includes the 400 billion parameter variant of Meta's Llama 3. However, at the time of this results being published, Meta had not yet completed the training of its 400 billion parameter model. Moving to video capabilities, GPT-40 includes an intriguing feature set. According to the API release notes, GPT-40 can understand video content using its vision capabilities. To use video with GPT-40, videos must be converted into frames at a rate of 2 to 4 frames per second, either uniformly sampled or selected through a keyframe algorithm. OpenAI provides a cookbook for a better understanding of how to input video and the limitations of this feature. In demonstrations, GPT-40 has shown the ability to view and comprehend both video and audio from uploaded files, and can also generate short videos. During these demos, there were multiple instances where GPT-40 was asked to comment on or respond to visual elements. Similar to Google's Gemini, it wasn't always clear if the model was processing live video or relying on image capture taken at specific moments. One notable moment during the initial demo suggested that GPT-40 might have failed to trigger image capture, thus relying on a previously captured image instead. For instance, in a demo video on YouTube, GPT-40 noticed someone making bunny ears behind Greg Brockman. 
the phone screen showed a blank animation accompanied by a sound effect, indicating that GPT-40 might process audio along with extracted video frames, similar to Gemini. The only demonstrated example of video generation by GPT-40 was a 3D model video reconstruction, but there is speculation that it could potentially generate more complex videos in the future. Regarding audio capabilities, GPT-40 can also ingest and generate audio files. It shows a remarkable level of control over its generated voice, being able to adjust communication speed, alter tones, and even sing when requested. Hey, ChatGPT, could you count from 1 to 10 for me, please? Of course. 1, 2, 3. Hey, actually, that's, um, that's a little slow. Could you count faster? Sure thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that was a little bit too fast. Can you, like, count somewhere in between those two? GPT-40 not only manages its own output, but can also understand input audio, providing contextual responses. Demonstrations included giving tone feedback to someone speaking Chinese and assessing the speed of someone's breath during a breathing exercise. According to benchmarks released by OpenAI, GPT-40 surpasses their own Whisper V3 model in automatic speech recognition and performs better in audio translation tasks compared to models from Meta and Google. The visual understanding capabilities of GPT-40 have been significantly enhanced, setting new benchmarks across several visual comprehension metrics. This advancement placed GPT-40 ahead of other models like GPT-40, Google's Gemini, and Anthropic's Claude. Real-world evaluations by RoboFlow, an open-source platform for visual understanding, further underscored GPT-40's superior performance in various use cases. In OCR tasks, where the goal is to extract visible text from images, GPT-40 demonstrated remarkable accuracy. When prompted to read serial numbers and other text from images, it responded correctly each time. Further testing on a real-world dataset showed that GPT-40 achieved an average accuracy of 94.12%, which is 10.8% higher than GPT-4V. Additionally, its median accuracy stood at 60.76%, a 4% 78% improvement over GPT-4V. The average inference time was 1.45 seconds, representing a 58.47% increase in speed efficiency compared to GPT-4V. This speed efficiency is calculated by dividing accuracy by the elapsed time, making GPT-40 the leader in this category. For document understanding, which involves extracting key information from images with dense text, GPT-40 also showed significant improvements. It successfully answered questions like, how much tax did I pay, when showed a receipt, and what is the price of pastrami pizza, when shown a menu. This performance is a notable step up from GPT-4 with Vision, which struggled with such tasks. When it comes to visual question answering, GPT-40 faced a series of prompts to test its capabilities. For instance, when asked to count the number of coins in an image, it initially gave an incorrect count of 5 coins for an image that contained 4. However, on retrying, it corrected its answer. This consistency in counting suggests that GPT-40, like its predecessor GPT-4 with Vision, sometimes struggles with precise numerical tasks. To address these variations and ensure reliability, tools like GPT Checkup have been developed to monitor and evaluate the performance of such models over time. Let's take for instance when GPT-40 impressively identifies scenes from the movie Home Alone, showcasing its advanced visual recognition abilities. As OpenAI continues to enhance GPT-4 and moves toward the eventual release of GPT-5, the potential use cases for these models are expanding rapidly. The initial release of GPT-4 simplified tasks such as image classification and tagging, and integrating vision capabilities allowed for more sophisticated computer vision applications. This integration facilitates combining GPT-4 with other models, enhancing the functionality of custom applications through augmented open-source models. GPT-40 introduces a new array of possibilities beyond mere performance benchmarks. As noted by Sam Altman in his personal blog, the vision is to create AI that enables others to innovate, benefiting everyone. With OpenAI's focus on reducing costs and improving performance, the future holds exciting prospects. Real-time computer vision applications are now within reach due to GPT-40's enhanced speed and visual capabilities. This allows for real-time interactions with the model, useful for navigation, translation, guided instructions, and understanding complex visual data. Being able to interact with the GPT-40 in real-time means users can gather intelligence and make decisions swiftly, much like interacting with a highly capable human. The potential for one-device multimodal use cases is another significant advancement. GPT-40 can now run on various devices, including desktops, mobiles, and potentially wearables like Apple Vision Pro. 
This capability allows users to troubleshoot and solve tasks using a single interface. Instead of typing text, users can show their desktop screens or pass visual information directly, creating a seamless and integrated experience. This reduces the need to switch between different screens and models, making interactions more efficient. In the world of enterprise applications, GPT-4O's improved performance and integration of multiple modalities make it a valuable tool. Although it remains more costly compared to open-source models, its speed and versatility make it suitable for certain enterprise tasks that do not require extensive fine-tuning on custom data. Enterprises can leverage GPT-4O in areas where open-source models are lacking while using custom models to augment GPT-4O's capabilities or reduce costs. This flexibility allows for rapid prototyping of complex workflows without being hindered by modal limitations. So get ready, because things are about to get more interesting. Make sure to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. See you in the next one.